Hello and welcome to AA's Art Channel. My name is Hilke Wiesma and today I'm going to do a little bit uh, different than uh, usual this story because I'm sort of making a review of a uh, very cheap uh, product that I found locally. Uh, it's uh, at the Action Store and I think there are a few more stores in different countries in Europe. So, but basically you can find these uh, cheap markers also uh, with AliExpress or maybe in a local store. The, it's not the exact uh, brand, but I think this will uh, the, the the things that I will discuss will uh, apply as those markers as well. And then I'm referring to things that I'm uh, looking after and what I want to uh, experience with cheap markers. What, what my goal was, but uh, I will talk about it uh, a lot more in this tutorial. But first of all, uh, well, this is the uh, project, my first project that I made. It's a, a Pafio pedalum. And that's an uh, an argus, uh, a species, species if I'm correct. But uh, it's not in my own collection. You may uh, know it is uh, it's on my channel here and there. But I have quite some argus, and I like to uh, let them show up once in a while in my uh, my uh, pictures or uh, in the background, for example. But uh, and also for my website, I like to uh, make pictures of them. But this is a uh, one uh, picture uh, I used. I found on uh, on. E um, not eBay, on the Pixabay and um, well I, I thought it was just a nice product to, to start with because of the different colors and I would like to test out uh, quite a lot of uh, different markers so therefore I chose a background, a very colorful background and also I uh, worked on Yupo paper uh, I will have a link in the video description. I think that's the easiest way if you want to check out the paper or want to know more about the paper. So that's quite a, um, a more expensive paper with a cheap um, product. But I, I really would like to try to blend as much as I can with the markers. And uh, some others t say that the Yupo paper will give you more the ability to blend. It will make it uh, easier. So uh, I don't have that experience yet. I, Obviously, I made this one, but I do a, uh, I will do a comparison with the uh, Strathmore Bristol paper in the next uh, week or two, I think. But uh, yeah, uh, back to the markers. I will show them to you. These are the markers, and, and they have quite a lot of different colors. Oh, I can better. Sorry, I can better show this one. There was a, a bit of a plastic wrapping still in there. Oh, I have some glare. I'm sorry, but quite a lot of different colors. These, this box does carry other colors than the, the first one that I uh, showed you. But uh, quite a lot of um, colors. And also these were the, uh, are the oldest markers. And with that said, oh and they are alcohol based. So that's uh, very important I think. I will do have a comparison between the both uh, markers because they have a different tip on the end. And I will show you that in a minute. But before I do that. The background on this uh, Puffio Pedalum drawing is, I think, very nice. The pattern that I have going on there. Um, it's not uh, very original, but you can because you can find uh, quite a lot of different tutorials on how to make that background. But it's basically, you put a marker on the paper and then you use uh, rubbing alcohol. And you, put, you dab it... Um, with, with with a piece of paper or with uh, uh, yeah anything you can do it with a brush as well and dab that alcohol on the paper and you will get get this texture the colors will reactivate and will um, blend together and that's a very nice result I have to say it's very nice for uh, it it's not that I would like to do this always I like to to paint uh, more uh, realistic uh, backgrounds uh, more often but this is a nice change. Um, yeah, and also, yeah, that's, that's everything I want to uh, talk about uh, in this intro. I will now start a tutorial and I will start with the differences in the different points on the old ones and the new ones. So let's start that tutorial. So first we start with a brush tip on the marker. That is the one on the left and then uh, on the upper hand side. Next to it, on the right hand side, we have a bigger uh, point, or tip I should say. And those two were my favorite, but as you can see, they are both on a different markers. The first one is the new marker, if I'm correct, and the second one is the old marker. The other tips of the markers on the uh, left hand and right hand um, uh, side, those are both the same. 
So they kept those but changed uh, the bigger one in a brush point. And like I said, I uh, liked uh, both of the uh, yeah, I liked both of them, the the brush point and the bigger one because I think the bigger one is very handy to cover in uh, large areas and the brush point uh, works a, a bit nicer for my uh, taste at least and uh, you also can make fine details with it so now we have one marker you can make fine details with and one we can uh, with one side you can make fine details and the other one uh, you can co uh, cover bigger sections but personally i would like to have um yeah like i said the bigger uh, tip and the brush tip but um yeah this is uh, what i'm going to work with so let's start that tutorial And first I'm uh, starting out uh, drawing out my uh, argot flower and normally I skip this part because it can take uh, quite some time to uh, draw in my uh, original drawings or my uh, main subjects um, and therefore I, I have some uh, limited uh, to show you here on, uh, on YouTube uh, time wise but there are different uh, ways to get your image on, your, on, on the paper on the canvas but sometimes I draw it in sometimes I draw it on a separate piece of paper and then uh, trace it back on the canvas because that for me is, a, is the most handy way because then I don't have to use uh, the eraser and for this part I had to er erase a little bit because I was a little bit off here and there and uh, yeah it always shows a little bit I, uh, I, I didn't have problems to cover it with the markers later on but yeah still some days I have my image on the uh, paper quite quickly, but some days, some days it takes a bit longer. Um, so therefore, I, in, in those days I have to erase a little bit more, and that's not uh, a good idea for your paper. So therefore, uh, like I said, I like to draw on a different uh, piece of paper and then trace my own drawing back on the canvas. So like I said, this is not my best of work of art. I'm just going to try a lot of different things. And that's uh, intended to. So I'm not planning on making this super realistic of super nice to look at. Look at but I uh, really want to try a really uh, quite a lot of different things. And especially on the blending. I noticed uh, I saw a few tutorials about blending with markers. And it can be uh, quite hard. And so therefore I thought, well, I'm going to try uh, different things and see how it works for me. And maybe I can make it uh, smoother um, and then uh, in most cases the, uh, the uh, marks will show up. But uh, so therefore you will see me uh, try uh, a lot of different things. And um, But it's okay and it was kind of fun doing it because the, the colors of these markers, even though they are quite cheap, were uh, very, very strong, very bright colors. And that, that was pre pretty surprising for me. I thought, well, with those cheap um, art materials, most of the times, uh, for example, with acrylic paints, I don't find them as bright, as strong. So I was ex wasn't expecting this and uh, be these beautiful colors with these markers because of the, the price. And um, yeah, I normally think that the most cheaper art uh, materials aren't... Um, the, yeah, the quality is not that good, obviously, because of obviously, that's most of the times the case. So therefore, I thought, well, I'm uh, very, um, yeah, curious to see how those colors will show up. But I have to say, they were pretty, pretty nice colors. And I'm just now filling in the, um, yeah, different colors. I like to use quite a lot of colors always in my work, so I'm doing the same here. And I'm uh, basically inspired with my reference photo. So therefore, of thereby, I mean, I'm not copying it exactly, but I'm trying to use the colors that I'm seeing in my references. And I try to also place them in a place where they show up in my reference. But that's basically what I'm doing. The rest is just uh, my imagination, uh, things that I came up uh, with while I was working. And you saw me using a brush. I had some water on it. Uh, I saw Lisa from Rockley F Lockery Fine Art using water with her markers. They she doesn't she doesn't have uh, or she didn't use this, the same markers, so maybe that was the problem. But uh, there was nothing happening with me with these cheap markers. I used some water and. Uh, uh, there, there was nothing ha nothing happening. I couldn't reactivate the um, markers of the colors. Uh, when she used it, she, she, in one tutorial she talked about that she just uses water and it will reactivate, reactify. But 
in my case it, it didn't work so therefore I uh, later on tried uh, rubbing alcohol I had some rubbing alcohol in the house because I normally use it to uh, sterilize my uh, scissors when I'm cutting um, for example roots or uh, flowers on my auger so therefore I have to sterilize my um, materials there so therefore I use some rubbing uh, alcohol but it, it was kind of handy because I thought well if they are alcohol based I sh this should work and obviously it did so therefore I, uh, you will show me uh, you, of you, you will see using me that uh, later on and I also try to blend with my fingers this is also a thing I saw Lo uh, Lisa do uh, in her tutorials once again it didn't work uh, with this markers I have the same paper I have the Yupo paper the only uh, thing is uh, what is different are the markers so I think um, it's it's the markers and to be honest um, I think the alcohol is um, this alcohol ev evaporates uh, quite quickly so it dries quite quickly quickly and probably other markers will uh, will give you a little bit of longer time to blend here I have a, uh, a piece of tissue basically yeah tissue and um, I dabbed it in uh, in the rubbing alcohol and it was just uh, damp not wet but damp and I'm slowly going over the colors to blend them in a kind of way it worked but it was very very hard to get it smooth so yeah and I wanted to get it smooth so therefore I have to say in my case it didn't work but the results can be kind of fun so if you like trying out new things if you have the markers you never did before maybe you want to give it a go because yeah I did get some smooth effects smoother effects here I have just a piece of cotton and I dabbed it in the rubbing alcohol and now I'm dabbing that uh, onto the paper. This is a little bit wetter, wet, uh, yeah, more moisture than um, the uh, the tissue that I used. I talked in the, a bit earlier, but in this case I have it quite wet because I wanted uh, that alcohol very strongly onto the paper. So you can see now it gives me a very nice texture. And that was something just I came up with and I liked how the uh, colors blend in with one another. And now I'm starting uh, with a, a light color. There's some shine on this, um, this, this leaf so therefore I would uh, thought it would be nice to start out with a, a lighter color because the blending is for me kind of hard with the, uh, with the markers. And I thought well I'm, maybe I should work from light to dark. I have to say it worked better. But I also saw a few tutorials again about markers and now I know that it is better uh, if you want to blend to use the same color but in a few different uh, hues. So you start light and then you have medium and you have the dark for example in the, s uh, in the same color. So if you use pink you have a light pink, a mid-tone pink and a darker pink and those three you can use and you can uh, overlap them and then you are basically uh, blending them. I didn't do that in this uh, this particular drawing because there were quite a lot of different colors. So therefore, uh, yeah, I don't have the uh, the experience here, so I didn't know what the best solution was. So I thought, well, I'm just going to try from uh, light to dark. And like I said, I did get better results than in my background. But it keeps being very stripy. There are a lot of uh, yeah textures. I'm making with the with the markers which I don't like. I like my my uh, work, my artwork as smooth as possible, and yeah. So therefore, I think it's a good uh, practice for me to step um, step away from the smoothness <laughs> and just be a little bit rougher. Sometimes it's just it's just nice, and I I like artwork uh, from other artists who are working a, a bit rougher. But I have a, yeah, a hard time to be that rough because I'm so used to uh, making things uh, look smooth. But um, yeah, a good practice. And also, uh, I like to note that I just used a regular uh, graphite pencil. Um, you can get rid of it, but it's very hard. So therefore, uh, for my next drawing, I'm going to use the water suitable uh, graphite pencil or the aqua pencil and uh, they have different names but I think you know uh, which one I'm, I'm uh, mean and I'm just gonna give that a, 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 a try and see how that works because the pencil shouldn't leave lines like this one did like I said I, I 
you can get rid of them but with the lighter colors of the markers I uh, I, th I had a really hard time to get uh, rid of those lines those um, your yeah, pencil strokes uh, yeah my uh, uh, lines from the drawing I'm uh, referring to and you can see it here w with the lighter uh, colors you can see them through and I don't like the look of that so uh, personally uh, I want to get rid of them so therefore I uh, like I said I'm going to try it also a bit a different approach there and really the nicest thing of this picture and this flower for me were that the uh, there were so many different colors in there so I could use quite a lot of different markers because of all those different colors and those uh, transitions between the different colors which um, most of the time means that that those transitions are slightly a different color as well so I have to could, uh, practice quite a lot of different uh, different colors and how they would work with one another and it's kind of fun because uh, <laughs> yeah like I said it's not my best artwork it's, it's sometimes it's it felt for me a little bit of uh, of uh, if I were uh, starting uh, making art uh, very um, of, uh, it was very new for me to make art like uh, I should put it like that because it's, it, it feels like you start all over again you start with the very beginning and uh, I had to try out so many different things to get it uh, to look a little bit right but yeah once in a while I think it's it's a good idea because you learn quite a lot and for me uh, if I'm working with a new um, art material or art materials um, I, I really discover quite nice different um, mixes with colors so therefore, I, uh, I that those mixes I can use with my um, with my paints, for example. You can come up with uh, quite a lot because you are a little bit looser, so you you try a lot of more different things than you maybe normally would do when you are painting. And you you are used to uh, paint in a in a particular way. Sometimes it's uh, good to uh, to practice something different and come up and just do it, and don't be afraid that it will uh, will not. Uh, be nice or not as uh, as a level uh, as you normally make art in but but yeah I it, it think it's very very uh, yeah, helpful and beneficial because yeah what could go wrong here well probably nothing <laughs> and uh, yeah I, I also uh, talked in the intro um, that I would explain why I even bought these marks well to be honest I really like the results that people get with these markers and I saw them uh, laying in that in the extra store for a long time and then I um, stand in front of them and I was thinking shall I buy them shall I not buy it or what will I do with it because they are very cheap so therefore uh, probably not art high level so therefore can I sell my work no I can't I, but I can make prints of it of postcards or so so I basically can sell some things um, made from these artwork but not the original ones because I think the colors will uh, not stay as bright as they are right now so therefore um, I left them behind in the store quite uh, sometimes and now uh, a few weeks back I came uh, back in the store and they were there again and they had those new boxes and they were very cheap so I thought well I'm just gonna buy them and um, I'm really happy I did because I wanted to have the feel of the marker and how I would like it and if I would like it enough to buy the better brands and the better brands are for my taste at least very expensive especially if you want a, quite some collection of different markers different colors those markers can be around if I'm correct uh, six euro till eight euros maybe even more per marker well this set those uh, those big boxes were about eight uh, euros per box so therefore they are very cheap in comparison but yeah I uh, really I think I get a hang of the feeling of the markers and I have to say they are nice but they are not something there uh, where I want to spend quite a lot of money on so therefore I'm really happy with those if I want some use some markers I probably will use these markers again and just for fun uh, projects maybe some giveaways or um, uh, for friends or something and uh, also uh, with the holidays coming up you may want to use some cheaper brands so you can uh, can uh, yeah make uh, some nice artworks to for family and friends as a gift at christmas for example but yeah i don't uh, want to uh, invest 
too much in uh, in the markers because uh, no, they're not completely my taste. But to be honest, this was my first project, so I'm going to do a few more. Maybe I'm going to change my mind, but to be honest, I'm pretty sure I won't. But we will see. We will see. I promise you guys, I will do at least another project on a different uh, piece of paper. I just want to experience uh, that paper as well. It's the Stratmore Bristol paper. And uh, I, I really want to give this a ch another chance and see how far uh, we will come with that. But this was it for uh, for today. This is the picture of the uh, end uh, results, I should say. Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm happy with it. It was a fun project. I learned a lot. And... Um, yeah more I, I don't have more to say about it it's just what it is and uh, i think it's a good practice to uh, to do something different uh, like i said earlier on because you don't have to be afraid to ruin your project because it probably will not be your best work anyway so yeah by any means this is not my best work of art and it wasn't intended to i just like to try out new things like I uh, quite often say uh, in my tutorials. This was one of them and I am really happy I uh, did this and I will make another tutorial and I will talk about more about what you can expect with uh, cheaper art materials in comparison to the more expensive ones um, because if you are trying uh, for example in this case markers and you li really like the markers and you I uh, want to buy the more expensive markers from, uh, for example, Winsor Newton or the Copic markers. Um, there will be a difference. I'm, I'm not, yeah, I'm quite sure there will be a difference. I don't have the markers, so I'm not 100% sure. But the, the uh, well, first of all, you can sell the artwork if it's uh, artificial. And if the, the materials are artificial, so you will, the, your colors will not fade over time. Probably with these marks it will. I have uh, asked that over on the Facebook group. Uh, I think one of the, the, the twin makers was there. I'm not completely sure, but she is very involved with the making of, uh, at least. I didn't have a response yet. It's been over a week now, maybe two weeks. I don't remember quite, quite exactly. So it's a little bit, um, yeah, a little bit sad. I like to have a, at least one response if I'm asking uh, about a uh, product. They don't do that, so uh, I think uh, that is sort of an answer. Uh, it's nice to work with, but it, I think it will fade. The colors will fade over time. But that's something to keep in mind. It just for me, it was just uh, I would uh, really like to uh, have the experience to hold uh, the markers and just to feel how they work. So that's uh, what I did for today. I hope you liked it. If you have um, some s similar experience with cheaper and more expensive art uh, materials, please let me know. And the, the biggest change that I, uh, I personally had was that when I started making, out making art, I didn't know what to expect. Now you have more experience as an artist. You know, now know more what to expect, and especially what you like. It's not that they are not good because I don't like them, for example, but they don't fit me as an artist and not enough to buy them. So that's, that's a difference. And I think it's really nice and really... Um, good to learn those things if you have um, the room and the budget to buy something uh, different than you already have and just try them out so um, that's it for now i hope you like this tutorial please let me know in the comment section below or you can, if you have any questions you can leave them at, there as well for now thank you for watching and i hope to see you at one of my next tutorials bye bye